how far up the agenda are human rights issues in the candidates' manifestos for the upcoming Tunisian elections. In the upcoming legislative and presidential elections to be held in Tunisia in October and November 2014, I would say that human rights issues have not been really visible enough in the candidates and parties, speeches and manifestos. But first of all, let's talk about what has been achieved in terms of human rights. Nearly four years after the fall of Ben Ali's regime, one can say that we've achieved very mixed results. The adoption of a new constitution in January 2014 has been a very positive step for Tunisia because this constitution includes quite an important and complete set of rights and freedoms. A lot of changes have also occurred in terms of freedom of the press and of freedom of speech, which is a reality today. Having said that, in other areas we've had very few results or no results at all. For instance, torture and abuses have not been eradicated because the security forces have not been comprehensively reformed. Also because Tunisia's judicial authority still doesn't automatically guarantee citizens' rights and freedoms. The impunity system that used to prevail before is still going on today. Violence against women also represents a quite alarming issue in today's Tunisia. The state has not managed to bring a global solution to it so far. Up to now, candidates and parties have mostly relied on slogans such as social justice, development for all or let's fight poverty, but they haven't proposed a global vision to address those issues and guarantee people's rights. So it's only about slogans so far. If you'd like to ask a question, go to the Euronews website or visit our social media pages.